So basically, a uh, quick little review on this prime weld and this Everlast. This Everlast is kind of unique because this isn't just a regular welder. This is actually a plasma cutter and a welder in one. So I feel like a lot of the features of these machines, like if you stepped up to the Everlast like 185 or something like that, you'd probably get more features than this one. I'm thinking, I'm not really sure. Uh, this one's a little smaller, um, height wise, and it's a little thinner. Uh, the Everlast, however, is a little longer than the Prime World, which, I mean, it's the same thing. We're all after just a small form factor for a welder, you know, unlike this. This is an old Synchro Wave 200, and it weighs quite a bit, a lot more compared to these two. I mean, these two probably weigh less than that bigger one. So anyways, everything's good. Uh, the quality on both machines seems to be about the same. Uh, the pedals are the same. This one's actually branded Prime Weld. And I'm sure this one actually says Everlast. Maybe not. No, there's nothing on this pedal. Either way, they look pretty much about the same. Um, this welder, I actually put this on here, a flex head. Uh, but this one does not come with a flex head. Uh, the regular torch that comes on it is this one, which is a standard, just WP-17. Um, it does bring a cable cover, which is nice because these flex hoses are really not that strong. And if for any reason you lay a piece of hot metal on the floor and it rubs it, it's going to rupture the hose. They are not cheap. So this one brings that. Uh, brings a connection actually another thing that this thing brings Which I'm not really sure if Everlast does this is actually a machine that I'm borrowing from a friend So I don't know exactly what all came with it, but they do include a pretty nice regulator with it Which is really nice I think I'm gonna use this for back purging on the second tank but it's a really nice regulator. I mean, it's actually about the same as the Harris one I got. Similar. Oh. But that's pretty much it. Um, brings the uh, electrode holder. You're doing the stick. And that's about it. Uh, these are the two welds that I just did with it right out of the box. I have to play with it a little more because the tungsten is not balling up like it should. So it's got a tiny, tiny, tiny little ball there. And then of course I'm going to have to play with the amps and frequency and all that stuff. See where the kind of the sweet spot is for me. But yeah, I mean, so far it seems like a very good buy at 800 bucks. I mean, you can't beat it. So let me know what you guys think.